What's going on everybody, it's Conti here. In today's video, what I'm going to do is show you how to use the fill in rule, which you can use when creating a mail merge document in Microsoft Word. Before following the instructions in this tutorial, ensure that you have already completed a mail merge using the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard, for example, and you have incorporated data from a source file. So for example, when I go to preview results, you can see that the forename field turns to John and then Dean when I go through to the next recipient. This is my original source file from Excel, which I created and I have linked to my mail merge document. John and Dean are both included in the table. The fill in rule basically enables an end user to add extra text to a document before sending this out to recipients. In this example here, the context is that John and Dean will be informed about an upcoming meeting. In the original MAFS document, the date and time has not been set. So what I'm going to do is create a rule which enables the end user to add a certain date or time to the sentence here. Make sure that you have left clicked on the page in the section where you want the text to be typed. Left click on rules, click fill in. The prompt box contains the instruction that you will be giving your end user when they load the final documents. In this case here, my instruction to the end user will be to enter the date and time of the meeting. Should you place text inside the default fill in text box, this will appear on the final documents when you load them after clicking on finish and merge. So for example, I could put a date and time in here, such as Thursday, the 2nd of May at one o'clock in the afternoon and this will automatically be displayed on your letter and it saves you from typing it in yourself. In this case here, I'm not going to be placing a default date and time there, so I'm going to remove this. I'm also going to tick the ask once box so that the end user only has to enter the date and time of the meeting one time and the same date and time will be sent to all recipients. Click OK. Click cancel on the window that appears here. Now we are going to see how the document will look for each recipient. Go to finish and merge and edit individual documents. Ensure that all is selected under merge records. Click OK. Now type in the date and time when you want the meeting to be. I'm going to type in Thursday, the 2nd of May at one o'clock in the afternoon again. Click OK. And as you can see here in the first letter for the first recipient, John, the message quite clearly displays the date and time after the original text I put in the master document. And if we scroll down to the second page, you can see that the additional letter to the other recipient, Dean, contains the same date and time. Go back to your original master document. Should you wish to alter this fill in rule after originally inserting it, press Alt and F9 on your keyboard. Some of you may need to press Alt and the FN function button before pressing F9. The message I have after fill in was the instruction that I wrote in the prompt box. The purpose of the backslash O at the end of this section here refers to the ticked ask once box that I did when I created the rule originally. What you can do if you wish to type in a different message for each recipient is just delete this. Go back to finish and merge. Click on edit individual documents like last time. Click OK with all merge records selected. I'm going to type in the original date and time that I did in the previous document. Press OK and you'll notice that the window pops up again a second time. What I'm going to do is change the address here to the 4th of May instead. If I click OK, 
John's letter has the first address the 2nd of May. And if I scroll down to the second letter, Dean's letter has the 4th of May instead. Should you wish to change the instruction for the prompt window, just simply type in the text within the speech marks. To go back to your original master document format, press Alt and F9 or Alt FN and F9. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. To support this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.